Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Avan, and today we are listening to the main theme of this new game called The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Now, I haven't played the game yet, but I heard that the song slaps. And the person that composed the music for this game also composed the main theme for Animal Crossing and also the previous Zelda game. Her name is Manaka Kataoka. As you guys know, Nintendo is very good with capturing the essence of the game through the music. And this video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to actually listen to the entire thing to react to it and then we're gonna analyze it at the end of the video i can't wait to share this experience with you guys so yeah let's get right into it oh starts off very strong oh that is a very cool instrument oh Oh, nice. Is that like the Chinese instrument? Sounds like the ones that has like one string and then the old Asian uncle playing it. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh! That is a very jazzy melodic line there. You can already tell that the game is going to be epic because of this. Oh, key change! That's a very subtle and smooth way to key change. We just listened to it, so now let's analyze it, shall we? Woo. Oh. All right, so the cooperation there, it starts on the four. I don't know what key though. Six, two major. Oh, and I'm gonna use the number system here. The two major. Ooh, that's cool. The, the reason why the intro has a very strong impact is because if you look at the melody, it goes seven, five, six, three, three. But then it works so well with the chord. The first chord is four, D flat, so. Which is like a major third. That's why it sounds amazing. And then it goes, it, it plays with the major seven of the chord. So. Right? So that's a D flat major seven. <laughs> Playing with that um, Dorian note again. F. Four. It's a six. Oh, the two major. So yeah, the verse is pretty simple. It's just going from F minor. I can't sing. And then F minor again, which is the six, and then to four. And six. Go down to four. Back to six again with the passing five to six. Ah, to the pre chorus. Three, four. Man, that note always gets me. Oh, 
over the four and five though. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's really cool. And then three. Four again. Three. Two. Three. And then four. The Dorian. Oh. And what makes it so out is because of the it's the it's got the chordal thing. If you don't know what chordal is, basically like you're playing fourths, so in that case, so the melody is like right? So like that, you just pick the fourth. So from C the fourth is fourth down is G. And then you just follow it. E flat and B flat, it's a D and A. That's such a cool voicing though to play over a very diatonic chord progression. I love that. Ah, cool transition. Ah. Man, that transition between the from A flat to the F is so epic. Is it? So they're basically trying a key change from A flat to F. F sharp. And here, G. And then dominant, A. Ah. And that, it goes to this chromatic thing from the G and then this is a very cool thing that a lot of people do the A sus which brings us well to the B flat in the key of F if you do major third to the four which is a very common chord progression so this is what they did to lead your ears to hear that Oh, so good. <laughs> uh. oh. Come on, Zelda. So nice. So they do another key change at the end, and it's the coolest thing. Let's listen to it and try to figure it out as well. Ah, ah. Oh, and then they change the chords. It goes that it, it has that chromatic down thing. the shelf for and then it goes to this like oh and then and the flat time and then they end it on the E Key change coming up. Oh. 
so yeah that's it for the video hopefully that helped you guys kind of understand what the music is actually doing and how it works as well thank you for watching don't forget to share like and subscribe to my channel because that will definitely support the content that i make i have a discord channel as well the link will be down in the description below so if you join that you'll be able to talk with fellow musicians you can also share what you've been listening to in the discord channel which is gonna be awesome yeah hopefully you guys have a good week and i'll see you guys in the next video